Hello, dear ones. This is my first video in English. I've been doing a series of videos um, bringing reflections of themes that I believe are important for us to look at, to think about, to feel, to focus on during this time of quarantine and social isolation that we're going through due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. The first video was about compassion and I did not make an English version of that one. The second video was how compassion can lead to kindness, to treat yourself with kindness and treat others with kindness. And in this one, I want to uh, connect the dots and talk about purpose. I spent a long time reflecting upon this theme, purpose. What is my purpose in this life? What is our purpose collectively in this life? Why are we here? And I don't have the uh, intention or the pretension to uh, exhaust this subject in a few minutes. This is one of the most profound questions of humanity since the very beginning. So a lot has been said and there is a lot more to be said. Uh, and each one of us actually have our own uh, thoughts and reflections about this, our own ideas. I just want to make you think bring some feelings up and most of all help you uh, choose to connect inside and look for your own answers so purpose uh, what is my purpose what is our purpose uh, collectively as humanity as a planet we can also think about our purpose uh, in different scales of uh, collectiveness what is the purpose of my family? What is the purpose of my town, of my state, of my country? And then we get what is the purpose of us in the world as human beings. Well, talking about individual purpose, um, what, is, uh, what is my focus? What are my objectives? Am I... Uh, geared towards the outside? Am I uh, doing everything I can to achieve material goals? To get a new car, to get a new house, a better job, get lots of money? Do I want a dream vacation trip? Do I really want a relationship? Those are all great things to have, but those are all external. It's not inside here, it's all in the outside. And it's fine to, to be pursuing these things. Uh, we need external things to live. And we need external things to live comfortably. But am I using these uh, external pursuits to fulfill things that I don't have in here, like affection, for example. I feel lonely and then I look for a new car or I buy some new piece of cloth in the store. Or not. I am really honestly uh, in need of these things and I am looking forward to accomplish them. On the other hand, is my focus turned completely inside and nothing to the outside? Am I over-concerned about being a better person, about being kind, about being compassionate, about being honest, to be able to hold my truth and to be truthful to others in every situation in my life, no matter how difficult it is? Am I looking forward to being, uh, to the charity, to, to give food to people who are hungry? 
These are all noble goals as well. But if I am only looking inside, isn't that also escape? Because life has a balance of external manifestations and internal manifestations. And uh, if they are uh, in agreement, if they are coherent, and this is a very fashionable word nowadays, I am in equilibrium. I am happier. I'm more relaxed. I'm in peace. If I pursue outside, I pursue inside. I manifest inside, I manifest outside. I'm in balance. Is this the purpose of life? To balance external and internal goals? Or does life have a higher purpose? For example, we all have been learning things and developing ourselves since the very beginning. I'm not the same person that I was when I was a little girl or a week ago or 10 years ago. And I believe each one of you are also different. We all have evolved. We, ha we all have grown. We all have learned new things. Could this be the purpose of life? Our growth in the biggest uh, picture possible. And could we, with this growth, have more clarity on our inner goals and our external goals? How do we achieve the, the, the knowledge of what is our purpose? Well, one important ingredient is to be able to be present right here, right now, in this moment. Is to be aware, to be conscient about what's going on. If I am not aware, if I am not present, situations may arise, difficult situations that we all live, that instead of being able to choose to act according to my values and my purpose, I may simply react. React within the behavior patterns that I learned in my life and that I developed to protect myself from being hurt. So, one um, objective that we can pursue is to be aware each moment every day all the time of course we're not going to do this right away and uh, we may end up never being able to do that a hundred percent in our lifetime we're human beings we're not perfect but if we carry the intention of staying present and being aware we have much better chances to make conscious choices in our life, how we want our life to, uh, to develop. If we're conscient, if we are aware, if we're present, we can be, be ourselves. We can feel, we can develop in a different way that we've been developing so far, we have better chance to make coherence between our inner goals and our external goals. Have them match. Have that balance. So, here we are in the middle of a pandemic having to get in contact with things that sometimes are a bit uncomfortable. Find creative solutions to our external situations, financial situation, housing situation, relationship situation. 
and also find creative solutions to our internal state so that we remain calm, balanced, why not say happy, happy during these times. It's an opportunity to meet with ourselves, to really get to know us. But if we are not aware now, we may just go into the fear and the fear is a defense, one of these reactions that we have to defend ourselves from some possible threat and we lose the magic of the moment. And we don't really get to know ourselves. We get to know just this one aspect of us. That's not really who and what we are. So, my suggestion for all of us, I include myself on it, I am exercising it, practicing it. Sometimes I su succeed, other times I don't, but I keep the focus and the intention of staying present and aware. So that's an exercise for you to do. And then with that, you can uh, discover a whole new world inside you and whole new solutions to situations within and without. So this is it for today. I wish you have a great week and would love to hear back from your comments how uh, these reflections, this thinking, these ideas, how this touched you and uh, what comes up from your intention of being aware and present in the moment. But great solutions you have come up with doing this simple exercise. That's it. Take care. See you next time.